When you walk around the world, when you walk around, you realise you don't actually see detail. You don't see every leaf on a tree because your brain would like combust. My drawings reflect that in a way, like there isn't that much detail. You get up close, you want detail, but it's not there, it pushes you back again. I discovered these knitting patterns. I just stumbled across a book on a flea market. I just saw suddenly this logic of a grid with different marks to differentiate what colour a textile would be. It was almost like paint by numbers. So I get my image, I blow it up, then I grid it up and then I take the blank piece of paper, which used to be graph paper, but now to get rid of the grid so it's less visible, I score with an etching tool, I score the grid, and then I just work in rows like a computer printer. If a drawing is going to take me 10 days, I'll divide that into 10 segments and I try and get from there to there each day, and it's a way of rewarding yourself. You get to the end and you know that's the work done for the day. I'd never been to San Francisco, so when I go to a city I buy all the brochures almost like doing my homework before I come and walked far enough to see Golden Gate Bridge and it was like to have known that bridge all my life as it were and then to actually see it, there's that magical moment. But things like Coit Tower I'd never heard of or Mission Dolores, I wanted to make a portrait that would show the people who live here, their own city, almost as if they maybe take it for granted and hopefully to transcend the cliche of the images, the postcard images. Trying to use the logic of photography and the best things about photography, but try and put the human aspect of looking and movement into it as well.